Hello and welcome back to Doctor Who. This is season 13, episode 3, Once Upon a Time. Um, So far, so good. I wasn't as much as a fan as last week as I was the week before, but I'm not such a big fan on the Doctor Who period drama kind of things. I think I've already said that. So, um, you know, it, it lost me in parts, but I, I enjoyed it enough to, to want to keep going. So here we are. This is Flux Part 3. Um, very enjoyable so far, very enjoyable. So, you know, Bertrand? <laughs> Wrong bell. What I learned is once you've lived it. The biggest changes to our lives start small. Catastrophes creep in quietly. The Dalek sector is growing. I thought I'd made it out, but they just keep spreading. Because... Since what some people keep calling the beginning of the end, who is there left to stop them? Of course, I call it the getting to you. But nothing is going to stop me from getting to you. What the f- I enter through the front, risking our lives to save others. The usual. On my command. The universe is relying on us. What is the happening? It's up to you, isn't it? And I said, yes, it is. And I've never stepped foot in that shop since. And who's losing now? It's not even like I'm that bothered about Satsumas. <laughs> oh, Satsumas. You all right? Yeah. Fucking jeez! Every time they get me, every single time. Blow the doors in. I've got about eleven nitros of reducer left. We use it when the doors go. Keeps us at normal speed, but slows down the rest of the environment. We've got to make the most of it. Entire focus is locate the ravages. Aiming troops to surrender now, or they'll have me to answer to. Oh, shit! Who the hell are you? What were you doing in my reflection? What are you doing here? Is this the Atropos defense systems? I'm you, which means uh -oh. this is my past. Me and take me, moving forward. Hoping that you're right. Hoping we'll see you soon. And I'm ignoring the creature in a bar who told me Atropos is falling, the Murray are compromised, and time is beginning to run wild. Because if the flux is eroding space and time is breaking down, then what hope do we ever have of finding each other again? Who are you looking for? Or, another theory, Jenny maybe? I hope so. I never get in here. I think there's something wrong with your time stream. Yes. Don't blink. There are angels disrupting your time stream. It's stalking me. Oh, what is it? Quick uh. Does that work? <laughs> No! You have to keep your eyes on it. If the angel gets you, it will propel you back in time. I won't know where. Barred from this dimension for good reason. A thing of beauty. A holding entity able to store what it has captured within. A living prison. Oh! One passenger destroyed. We need the Mori now. I'm trying. You think we would cower before the division when we have taken control of its dirty secret? A planet called Time. Thinking this could bring the dark times to an end. Keep away from it. Oh, shit. That's a second. It's a massacre now. We can't let it lose anymore. 
Moria ready. The Moria connected. Oh. Is our passenger meant to go like that? Mori. Tell me you did not bring them here. You were warned. They shall not have this! You know the thing about a passenger form. You'd better be sure you know where they've been or everything that's held inside them. Stasis fields. Now! Oh! We shall not be contained! Get them transported out of here now. Mission accomplished, boss. Yes. Need your help. And us. Exiting the cyber zone as fast as we can. Uh oh. Wait, what's that? Do we make it out? Whoa! Convert this. Woo! How many Cybermen in this part of the galaxy? Seven million three hundred and thirteen thousand four hundred and nine. I like our odds, take me. What is your mission? What? What is your mission? I am one person. I in the broken universe. My mission doesn't impinge on you. I must record. Fine. Just put... Love. That's my promise to you. I love that thing! Also, can we talk about the fact that that is definitely going to be merchandise? 100%! One more memory. One more piece of my past. Let me have some... Some explanation. You will die in here. Just give me something! Give me the end. Give me the end of what I was in! No. You can't force me out! Oh. Stop fighting now, Doctor. Who are you? As a temporal poison or contagion. I'm sorry, I'm normally very good at keeping up with things, but you lost me quite early on. Where are we? <laughs> and how do you know me and I don't know you? Always the wrong questions. This universe is over, Doctor. And you get to call it, do you? Everything has its time. Nothing is forever. Nothing is certain. Not you. And not this universe you seem to love so much. This universe is home to innumerable species and life forms. Don't lecture me, Doctor. Not when you should look to yourself. What? Because of you. What are you talking about? All is ending. And, and don't come looking for this. You can go. I will not go. I can't get to you. What happened to you? What are you doing here? Stay there, Dan. I've got to get to you. You can't. You mustn't. Of course I can. Get off me. Do as you're told. You have no idea what you're dealing with. I do. Stay there. Damn. I'll help you get her back. I promise. No, she's our toy now. <laughs> what do you want? To reign in hell. That's not very clear. Stick your head in. Go on. What? <laughs> is this a TARDIS? It is, isn't it? I didn't even think these were real. Wait. This can get me home. After all this time, I'm sorry. It's gonna be Bell. I'm only permitted one message. Yeah! I love you. I love you too.
me and your beautiful as your unborn child. What's that? A weeping angel. Don't blink. Why not? Keep your eyes on the angel. Stay behind me. I think I think I'll just blink. Set the controls. Dr. Monty. Uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> A time being, <laughs> oh, stories. village of the angel name, please. Claire Brown. Oh, a little girl, ten years old. It's happening again. Was that scarecrow there a minute ago? Everyone in the village disappears on the twenty-first of November, nineteen sixty-seven. Tonight, Gerald. Oh, what's going on? Gerald, oh, wait. Oh great! I love I love the weeping angel stories. That ah, 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 ah. that that was that was fucking good. That was my favorite episode so far. That might be my favorite Chibnall episode so far. Um, I enjoyed that a lot. Doesn't mean the masses are gonna like it. Um, quite confusing in parts, but. It was good. It was really, really good. And um, I am intrigued by many things. I don't quite know where to begin. Um, but honestly, I, I... I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, the Weeping Angel, seemingly trying to do something, uh, managed to infiltrate the TARDIS. An angel with a TARDIS, now that is a scary thought. A being that can traverse time... with a TARDIS. Um, and can also send you back in time with its hands. Um, that's pretty... pretty frightening. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how they sort of wrap the flux up. I mean, we've got three episodes left. Um, I'm hoping it won't be a rushed ending. I'm hoping, especially with the introduction now of like a love story with Belle. Um, I was really hoping Belle would be like maybe Jenny. Like she, she gives such Jenny vibes. Um, but I, I doubt that very much. That would be a callback that a lot of people probably wouldn't even get. Um, but overall, a really solid episode. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't, I gotta give credit where credit's due. That was solid. That was solid. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, I will see you all in the next video. I hope you have an amazing day. And I do love you lots and lots. But, um, that was, that was impressive. I enjoyed that a lot. So, yeah, I'll see you soon. I love you all. Mwah!